Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you hear any buzzing noise in the background, my neighbor is polishing his car. So you may hear that while he's uh, detailing it out and all that stuff. But, uh, you know, you kind of have to film when you get a chance and not worry about all the uh, extraneous noise. But hopefully it won't uh, be anything that uh, bothers you too much. But hey, you guys want to see a knife? Check this one out. This is really cool. I, I really like this knife. This is the uh, Brother 1510, and this is the 1510 GN, which has the dark green micarta covers, which I think they did an excellent job on these. I mean, it just really, really looks nice. Uh, we'll look at the fit and finish. Here we got some steel bolsters. All the pins are super smooth. It has a lanyard tube. You cannot feel any transitions. There is just ever so slightly, just a little bit of a gap right there, but that is so inconsequential as to be nothing. Uh, they do give you a nail nick, but you know what? This The way this knife opens, I prefer to use a pinch grip rather than the nail nick, because what you have is as you pull the knife, it's really easy till it gets to the half stop, you see the half stop's not at a, at a true 90, but then when you crank it over, you can hear that snap. This thing is in place and it is a firm uh, spring lockup that it has. This is a slip joint, uh, absolutely wonderful. Like I said, this is the uh, 1510 and it is in VG10. What a sweet, little knife this is really get a nice forefinger grip with it like i said with that uh the way that that is that that just kind of snaps so here i'll let you listen to the walk and talk hear that when it gets that full spring but yeah that's that's awesome i really like this knife is really uh, quite quite nice. I like, as you know, I like slip joints, and I like uh, small lockbacks that are in this uh, same size. Uh, so it's really not a stretch that I would go for a knife like this. Uh, speaking of more stuff on the uh, knife, as you can see, it has a nice flat grind on it. Uh, you have a satin finish on the blade. What you're looking at, uh, this knife is three and five eighths inch closed. Uh, you have uh, three inches for your blade from the bolster and it has a two and three quarter inch cutting edge. Uh, really nice drop point blade. Really comfortable in hand. Just, you know, everything is transitioned nicely. No, uh, any kind of burrs or anything like that. I mean, this, this knife is very well polished. I like the, uh, little shield. It has nothing on it. Uh, possibly that's something that, you know, you could get engraved or if you're brave enough to try engraving it yourself, you could. Uh, but yeah, these are really, really handy knives. Uh, I really like the brother knives. And if you like a, uh, slip joint, or a knife that is a slip joint, but taking advantage of modern materials. Uh, and we won't get into that whole thing, but uh, if you like the Micarta, you like VG10, which I can say yes to both, uh, this just might be a knife you're looking for, especially if you're in a place where locking blades are not uh, allowed. These are going for, I think, right around $39 on uh, Amazon right now. Uh, fantastic knives. Uh, the Brother Company does a great job. I really like the Brother knives that I have. I don't have many, uh, but this has been a fantastic knife. I had this one for just a little bit. I got it uh, for uh, Father's Day. So it's a fantastic knife, one that I've been wanting for a while and one that uh, I wanted to take it out, give it a test drive for about a good uh, week or so just to uh, see how it does. And, and you know, it performs like VG10 does, you know, just perfect. 
uh, the handle material is fantastic and just, you know, what can I say? This is a really good, if you want a, a slightly, I, I'm going to say it's a medium sized knife, but you know, if you like that for a work knife, I think uh, this would be just fine. Definitely bigger, bigger than your pen knives, but not as big as a uh, as a big full size uh, blade like a, a large stockman or a, a full size trapper or something like that. Definitely a good knife. It might be something that you're that you're looking for. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it up with that. Like I said, you know, just pinch grip it. I think is the best way to open this guy if you get one, and uh, definitely let me do let me know if you do. Nice little swedge there on the top of the blade. This is just a, a really sweet, sweet knife. Here's your uh, your centering right down the middle. You know, no no problems with this thing. This is this is great. And for forty dollars, this is a screaming bargain all day long. All right, guys. I will definitely see you in the next one, and I'll be back with an episode of. Uh, Fun Knife Friday, and we'll see you then. Take it easy, guys.